if you use the right keywords in your color and page prompts for mid-journey, then you can actually create some really nice color in pages, just like these, and with no grayscale. Now, what I'm going to do in today's video is share with you a bunch of different keywords which will help you create much better color in pages just like these. Now, the keywords which I'm about to share with you actually helps me create this. And this is my ultimate color in page prompt generator, LineArt GPT. Now, this is actually an upgrade to my ultimate color in page prompt generator. Now, this is currently unavailable, but it will be back this Friday, the 28th of June. And I actually have a few different ideas which I'll be creating for GPTs for the ultimate color and page prompt generator. Now, before I share with you those keywords, let me show you quickly how to use this because it creates some really great prompts. Now, it says just here, generate simple line art color and page prompts for mid journey based on user provided niches. So all we have to do is simply type in a niche. It can be very simplistic or you can add some detail as well. So for this example, Let's just put something like a happy cat laying down. And if we click enter, we're going to get a nice prompt which we can take directly over to Midjourney to create a coloring page. We can also just click here where it says give me an idea for adults or give me an idea for kids. So if I click on here, it's then going to generate a prompt which I can also use. So let's go ahead and quickly take this as well like so. Let's copy this, let's come over to Midjourney, and let's just plug this in here to see what this looks like. Now we're going to give this a second as well. Now while we're here, we can quickly scroll through all of these to see what some of these look like. So this turned out really nice, this little tiny house boat, this cat as well, this pregnant lady worked extremely as well. I got a different variation just here but as you can see once you start using the right keywords within your prompts you can actually create some really nice coloring pages that aren't grayscale so this one says a simple black and white line art illustration then some of the keywords are this design is minimalistic with thick black outlines and no shading or texture detail now, if we scroll through some of these, these turned out really nice as well. I really like these little cottages. But we can see, again, once you start using the right keywords within your prompts, you're going to create much better coloring pages. Now, let's come back down to here. So this one was a simple drawing of a happy cat sitting with a ball of yarn. The main keywords in this was the background is plain with no additional details. The illustration should be should feature simple, bold black lines and low details. So now if we take a look at this, we can see that's exactly what we got. Now, in fact, out of these, I quite like this fourth one. So let's just go ahead and upscale that and take a look. And again, as we can see, it looks really good. Now, let's go ahead to the keywords just here, which I want to share with you. Now, how I'll either link this Google Doc down in the description, or I might just take all of these keywords, add them as a comment, and pin that comment as the first one. But nonetheless, you should be able to find these down below. Now, all of these just here, I helped train my GPT, along with almost a couple of hundred prompts. So if we come back just over to here for a second, let's come on to simple line art just here. So all of these prompts just here is what also helped train my GPT. Now let's come back over to here again. Let's have a quick look through these to see what we got. So it says simple drawing, simple line art color and page for kids, black outline only on white paper, no shading or color in the outlines of the drawing, black and white outline drawing, and quite a few more. Now, what you want to do if you're trying to craft prompts for Mid Journey to create color and pages with no grayscale, what you want to do is just incorporate a couple of these into your prompt 
and make sure that there's no reference to grayscale or shading as well in your prompt because that way you're just going to get much better designs. Now, some of the best ones to use from this list are just here. Bold black lines, low details, thick outline, simple drawing, simple coloring, vector illustration, and no background details. Oh, and along with thick lines. Now, these ones tend to be in most of the prompts that my GPT is creating, but it does also have some of these as well, because it just produces really great results. So try this out. Again, I will either link this Google Doc down in the description, or I will just link all of these, or take all of these and add them as a pinned comment down below. And if my prompt generator is something that you're interested in, then keep an eye out over the next week, as this will be available in my ultimate coloring page prompt generator, from the 28th. Now my prompt generator, this one just here, which creates the line art, is just one of a few different prompt generators which I am creating. So we're going to have one, this one, for simple line art. I am also going to try and create one specifically just for grayscale as well. And I have a few more different things lined up. So again, if that's something that you're interested in, keep an eye out for the 28th of June, when this becomes available. Now, if you found this video helpful at all, then please consider giving me a like, as it really helps out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, click right here and watch this playlist.